with a quick word to help you stay healthy and feeling your best. Long story short with Dr. David Law. If you're like my family, the holidays usually mean our kitchen is filled with the best chefs, but even the best have accidents. And if this happens to be you as you're as you're getting your black eyed peas ready for New Year's, there's a right way to make sure that cut or burn doesn't get worse. Dr. David Long is here to explain. Thanks, Matt. Are you excited about all the delicious foods that will be coming out of the kitchen this holiday season? Not only is it time for yummy foods, but it's also a time when accidental cuts and burns in the kitchen are all too common. Here are some basic first aid tips. If you experience a minor cut while cooking, the first thing you need to do is to stop the bleeding. Apply direct pressure to the wound with a clean cloth or bandage. If the bleeding doesn't stop after about 10 minutes or blood is spurting out, call 911 or go to the emergency room. Once the bleeding is stopped, wash the wound with soap and water and apply an antibiotic ointment. Finally, band-aid the wound and keep an eye on it for signs of infection like redness, swelling, or pus. If you experience a first or second degree burn, hold the affected area under cool water for at least 10 minutes or until the pain subsides. Once you've cooled the area, apply aloe vera gel or a topical antibiotic cream to help speed up the healing. Cover it with a sterile, non-adhesive bandage or a clean cloth. For pain management, call your doctor about taking an over-the-counter pain reliever. If you have a burn larger than three inches or a third degree burn, seek medical attention immediately. I'm Dr. David Long. That was the Long Story Short. Thanks, Doc. Remember, you can catch Long Story Short every Thursday right here on KLBK. And if you've missed any previous segments, you can find all of those over on our website, everythinglubbock.com. Now, KLBK.